Oh, hey, there you are. I've been looking all over the place for you. I think it's safe to come out from underneath your rock now. No, the election, it's all over. Biden's a president. No, Nancy Pelosi's not arrested. No, Trump didn't start an insurrection. It's all good. I think you're safe. For right now. Come on, get out there. <laughs> hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. Man, it's been a crazy month this month. We've had a lot of events going on, uh, but we're back here and ready to uh, to make some videos. And I've got a special little box that showed up today. I'm really excited about this one. I think I know what's inside of here. Pretty sure I do. I've been ordering a whole lot of stuff off of Amazon, but only one thing that has batteries. So I think I know what's in here. Um, yeah, let's open this up and uh, I'll tell you all about it. Here we are. <clears throat> Some of you may already know what this is. A B-Tech box. Pop this open. And got a manual. Got a communication cable. An earbud. And here we are. B-Tech portable handheld radio, radio. Uh, so this is a, uh, a DMR X, uh, 6X2. Uh, what this is, is this is gonna be basically a um, ham style radio where you can pre-program it for different channels. And it comes in both the, the DMR, the digital band, as well as the, the standard analog stuff. So you can be able to tune it for all of that. Still have a lot to learn about it, and I still have a lot to uh, to take care of to, to get it going, but I thought it was one of those important things to purchase for being out here on the homestead. So I really am excited about this, this radio, and I will tell you why. It's because if 2020 taught us anything, it taught us that we had to be prepared for the things that we couldn't possibly prepare for. Uh, it taught us that it didn't matter what was thrown at us, uh, we had to be ready and make provisions for any kind of disaster or event that happened. And there was a number of things that happened in 2020 that were actually uh, hit really, really close to home. Uh, uh, most of you are aware, or maybe you weren't aware, uh, Nashville and Middle Tennessee had major tornadoes come right through the heart of Middle Tennessee in the beginning of 2020 and caused an, a, mass, a massive amount of devastation. Uh, I mean, it, it, it took out entire communities and it was a terrible and devastating thing. And before we could even get cleaned up for that, uh, COVID shutdowns hit and everything was shut down much like most of the nation uh, and a lot of people were affected by that. And then to top it all off, uh, at the very end of 2020, on Christmas Day, nonetheless, uh, uh, a deranged man set off a bomb in the very heart of downtown Nashville. Uh, and it just, it was one thing after another, and, and many, many other smaller things uh, involved in that. And uh, But uh, but yeah, that was all uh, really eye-opening and, and really struck uh, struck a chord with me that, you know, we need to be prepared for things that we weren't really thinking of. Um, and in all that, communication seemed to be the, the, the resounding uh, topic that kept coming up and the, the issue that was becoming the, the greatest problem. Because during the tornadoes, uh, it took out cell towers, it took out communication, you couldn't use landlines, you couldn't use cell phones, internet was down, people were without power for uh, weeks on end, and if you didn't have a way to communicate uh, apart from a cell phone or the internet or a landline, then you had to find another means of of living. You had to, to go to a, a different area, you had to leave your home uh, unprotected possibly, and uh, it made it rather difficult for a lot of people in this area. It made it difficult for us to reach out to to people that we knew and loved and, and we weren't sure if they were okay or not because they didn't have a way to communicate with us. Uh, during the lockdown, we realized that 
we have one form of communication at the at the homestead here we have our internet connection uh, and when that internet connection goes down we have no other ways to contact other people we have no other ways for people to contact us and so it became a, a vital uh, point of our lives to make sure that we had some sort of internet connection all the time so we had to you know install battery backups and redundancies and, and things so that I could continue to work so that people could continue to contact us uh, because all of our our cell phone extenders work off of the internet all of our uh, wireless communication works off of the internet and uh, it, it became a vulnerable spot in our lives and then finally with the with that one bomb that went off in Nashville Tennessee uh, it just so happened that the guy parked it next to the AT&T building and with that one event it took out 911 centers all over the southeast and their communication was completely shut down it took out people's cell phone communication anybody that was on AT&T had some sort of outage in the area it also took out communication for uh, the, the the payment processing centers so they couldn't process payments I'm uh, we'd go to the grocery store and they said, if you don't have cash, we can't help you. Uh, so it became very evident that our communication is very, very vulnerable in this day and age. It's something that we rely on all the time. And it's something that with the flip of a switch or with a click of a button, it can disappear. So that's what this radio is. Uh, me and some friends of mine have all uh, joined together and we have... Uh, worked out a way to get these radios so we can start to communicate with each other in the event that something does happen, in the event that uh, an emergency uh, that affects us in some way uh, eliminates or makes communication difficult, we can still have a wireless path of communication that's not relying on uh, a third party. We can communicate directly to each other. Uh, and uh, and yeah, so it'll, it'll help with um, our, our communication in the fire department. We have radios for that. But we don't have the ability to to change bands or the license to change bands on that. But I will be able to program uh, our radio communication for the fire department on this so that I can have a little bit stronger radio uh, to get out into areas uh, that are a little bit more difficult. Um, it'll also allow my wife to hear what's going on when I have to get called out on a call. I take my radio with me and then she's kind of left in the dark, but she'll be able to to follow along and hear what's happening and, uh, and hear uh, any updates, you know, when we're when we're going to be coming home and things like that. So, uh, so I feel like this is going to be an important part uh, added to the homestead so that we can stay prepared and keep our communication uh, intact and take a little bit more responsibility for that. Um, we've got uh, uh, licensing uh, tests coming up the beginning of next month. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing programmed and get some, uh, some channels set up in it so that I can start scanning and listening to the radio communication and kind of get a feel for how all that plays out. Uh, but I won't be able to communicate or transmit on it until I have completed that license. Uh, but there's about six of us that are going to be doing that license together uh, so that we can have a network uh, together and, uh, and work, work together to, to help each other out and to stay connected and stay communicating even when other forms of communication are down. So that's it. That's, uh, that's what we've got today. Super excited about it. I'm going to see if we can get this thing charged up. I might do a video on, uh, on, on what I think of it and kind of the first, uh, the first impressions. But as of, uh, as of right now, I mean, it seems pretty standard. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than my, uh, my my firefighter radio um but it does does come with uh i believe it said it came with the two batteries let's see what all it come with it's got the charging station uh standard antenna which you can upgrade i saw some of the some of that on there oh here's the uh second battery right there this one's kind of stuffed in there nice and tight keep it from going everywhere Looks like this one's actually a little bit bigger. Uh, yeah, so this one's actually a 22.94 watt. And this one's only a 15.54 watt, so 3,100 amp hours. I mean, it comes with a little lanyard, power adapter, and two different belt clips. So this will be fun putting it together, learning how all this operates. This is something that I've been interested in for a while now, uh, but hadn't really pulled the trigger on getting started because I didn't really know how to. So uh, we just kind of got together and decided, you know what? 
it's about time we learned. So we all got a radio of some sort and uh, we're gonna start playing this. So if you've got some experience in radio communication, ham radio, things like that, and, uh, and have something that, uh, that you think I could benefit from, feel free to leave it in the comments below and let me know. Uh, again, I'm looking forward to getting my license here coming up the beginning of next month, uh, as long as I can pass that, uh, that 35 question test. Hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your, uh, your support and your viewership. Uh, if you liked this video or found it informative or entertaining in any way, hit the thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe, see more of what we have going on here on the homestead. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.